Well, last week, I don't know um, if who was here, but last week uh, we remembered or we were reminded that because of the first sin, Adam and Eve, I know you guys have learned that story in Sunday school before, but because Adam and Eve sinned, we're all sinners. But then we heard the opposite. We talked about things that are same, the same and things that are very different are the opposite. The opposite is that God made a plan to save us from our sins. So even though we're sinful because of Adam and Eve, God made a plan. The opposite. He has a good plan to get rid of all the sin. And that plan is found in this book. What is this book here? The Bible. Exactly right. It's called God's Word to Us. It's the Bible. Well, in addition to God's plan of salvation, his plan to get rid of the sins of the world, he made a lot of promises. And in here we hear that God made a promise to Abram that he would bless him and his family. He would make a great nation out of Abraham and his descendants, out of Abram and his descendants, and through him he would bless other people. But there's a lot more in here too. There are promises, there's a plan of salvation, there are lots of other words. In fact, you'll learn, if you haven't already learned, you'll learn in confirmation class there are 66 books in this Bible. And they're books full of words like um, names of people, there's history, there's poetry, um, there's the law, there are words of prophets, prophets wrote some of the Bible, and some of Jesus' friends wrote the words with the help of the Holy Spirit. They wrote words in the Bible. But the key is that all these words, all these 66 books, and all this information points to one important message, and that's called the gospel. The gospel is good news. That's what it means. It means good news. And the gospel message that we're going to talk about today that is the good news comes from John 3.16. And you guys might know this. Anybody know it? John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever um, believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. And that is good news. But did you know the gospel is sometimes called the gospel in a nutshell? This good news is called the gospel in a nutshell. Do you know why? Why would it be called in a nutshell? Well, I'm going to tell you. So I brought a little bowl of nuts with me today and different kinds of nuts, but they're really not very big, are they? They're, they're pretty small. And... Um, that message, for God so loved the world, that he sent Jesus, is a pretty small message. It's kind of neat and tidy, right? It's easy to remember. If I wrote it down on a piece of paper and I opened up one of these nuts, I could probably stick it inside. It might fit inside a nutshell. It's so neat and tidy. And sometimes you might hear somebody say, well, that's it in a nutshell. It's a saying that means I've summed it up in just a few words. It doesn't have to be a lot of information. It can be said in a summary, a few, just a few words. So that might be why people call John 3.16, in other words from the Bible, the gospel in a nutshell, because it's summarized in just a few words. But I thought of another reason it might be called the good news or the gospel in a nutshell, and it, that's because of who God gave that message to. Who has that message inside of them? So you remember I told you Abram got a special promise from God? Well, Abraham, before that, had been worshiping other gods. He was what we call an idolater. And God gave him a special promise. I think that's a little bit nutty. And Jesus told a man named Nicodemus, who was a special leader in the church, all about what he was going to do. He told him how you need to be saved and what Jesus was going to do to pay for our sins. But Nicodemus didn't get it. He kept trying to figure it out in human terms. And I think that's a little bit nutty, too. He had all that information, and he still didn't get it. But you know what? You guys have that information in you, too. God has put his word in your hearts. And you know what? And it's in my heart, and I make mistakes. I sin. Why would God do that? Why would he give me such an important message? I think that's a little nutty, too. So I think it might be called the gospel in a nutshell because sometimes, because we're sinners and we've got that good news, we act like a bunch of nuts. <laughs> but thanks be to God, it's not about us. It's about Jesus. And we have forgiveness because of Jesus. And 
God gives us everything we need to share that good news with others. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the good news of Jesus, my Savior. Help me share that with others. Amen. Thanks for coming up, guys. Thank you.